Hello, pretty people. Let me show you something. This is our handbook for new colleagues. If this were a real physical book, it would be an international bestseller. This handbook helps new colleagues find all the answers to their most common and uncommon questions. The cool thing is that this handbook is maintained by all the 140 people that work in the organization. If you change something in the handbook, it will be there for the whole world to see automatically. Our handbook has become a very popular resource for other organizations to learn from. But according to leading industry expert, it's not the handbook which is most valuable, it's how the handbook came to be which is key. The four basic rules we applied are very simple, but they can transform your organization. Let me explain this in about um, five minutes. The first one, you have to be open by default. We made everything that can be public open to the organization. This means all information is accessible to everybody. Strategy, revenues, project, project updates, roles you hold, you name it. Everything is there. This fosters trust. And it helps everybody make better decisions. Number two, a duty of transparency. To help facilitate this openness, we have a duty to be transparent. Examples of things we create transparency about are projections on deadlines, project updates, but also the priorities I have in my work. Openness is making information accessible for everybody in the organization. Transparency is about creating clarity of what other people can expect of me and what I add to the organization. Creating clarity is not only helpful for others, it allows others to work more autonomously. And because it removes friction, it's far more fun to work in this way. Number three is the end of the done document. Words you put to paper are outdated the moment you put them to paper. The world is constantly changing, which means information is changing as well. Now let's take a look at Google Drive or Microsoft Word, depending on what you use. Come on, let's have a look. What you see here is an A4 piece of paper. If you're still writing documents using these tools, you're essentially writing on a typewriter, a device we phased out 50 years ago. To make matters even worse, I still see people mailing version 1 and version 2 of certain documents, which people then comment on. We've got to stop doing this. Modern information is read on the web. We've got to start using tools that are creating information for the web. The pages we create there are never done. They're also called never done documents. And that's got to be your natural attitude towards information. If it's good enough to continue your work, that's when the page is done. Number four is that we have to separate information from communication. I can't understate the importance of this. Information is a one-way street. It conveys thought or fact or opinion. Communication, however, is a two-way street. I expect a reaction on the things I'm communicating. I see a lot of information ending up in communication silos. A good example of this is email. There's information stuck in that silo. Information in a communication medium doesn't help you collaborate and it doesn't create transparency. Email is a communication tool. Stop using it as an information tool. Because we are open by default, I don't have to email you information. I can send you a Slack or a team message with a link to the page where we are going to collaborate on. It's a far more natural way to work together. What really helps is creating alignment between team, communication channels and information systems. In this way, everybody knows where they can ask questions, share information and have conversations. And everybody knows where which of these things lives. So be open by default. Have a duty of transparency. Create never done pages and separate information from communications. These are the four behavioral lessons you can learn. Now these behaviors are heavily supported by both hardware and software. If you want to learn more about both, you can read details in the article down below. And we can even make some separate videos about it, but the comments are open if you would like to see those. Thank you Voice for making these videos possible. If you like the content, please give it some love and check out the rest of the channel. And I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers.